Hello and welcome to this video and to week whatever we're on and the week where my maternity leave actually does start because it starts at the beginning of February so it starts tomorrow. Up until now I've been on annual leave but maternity leave officially starts this week. I suppose a good thing. Um, it'd be nice if, you know, she arrived soon so that we could optimise the time off uh, rather than having a lot of it without her here but she will come and she will come if you saw last week's vlog you'll know we are in the wait and see I'm going to try and leave it for as long as I can and let her make her own decision when she's going to arrive yeah sleeping's a bit difficult at the moment I'm getting pretty bad heartburn when I go to bed but we manage we just work our way through that and then we do it and obviously I'm up a few times for a wee and stuff because I'm pretty sure she's dropped and there's a lot more pressure on my bladder at the moment but there we go you didn't actually want that right at the beginning of this video properly but there we go that's where we're at another week of don't really know what I'm doing it's hard to make any plans at the moment so we sort of take it day by day it's Tuesday so it's the 6th of February today and uh, yeah, I actually need to go out today, shock horror. I have actually sold something on Vinted, woo hoo hoo hoo. So I need to go and take that down to the impost locker and although our food shopping has now arrived, we don't really have anything for lunch because we buy like a big chicken and cook that up and that will be done tonight. So there's nothing for lunch. So I think I'm gonna treat myself to a meal deal. There's a Sainsbury's down there, so we'll see what choice they have, hopefully something good. I don't know why, but I've sort of been fancying a meal deal, so that'll scratch that itch. So we'll do that. Um, and yeah, that's today's plan really, is just to go and do that. Thankfully Sainsbury's came about 15 minutes ahead of the scheduled time. So you know, you get your hours slot, they arrived a little bit early, which means that I probably, well, not probably, I will be able to now leave and get back in time, in good time, so. That was my worry. If they came right at the end of my slot, that's basically lunchtime and it would have been more difficult, but that's the plan. Um, it is a bit rainy today, so I probably won't be taking you out. Not that I've ever taken you down to the impost locker anyway. Uh, no, it's a lie I have once, but I'll probably come back to you when I'm back in the house, show you my meal deal. I really want to finish my book today as well, because I've got another video idea that I want to film this week which involves a book, but I don't want to be reading another book and do that. So, got that. Of course, we'll be baking. Got so It's a very simple bake this week that I've baked. It should taste nice, but it'll be very, very simple. I always have to make a pie, so we get two, two lots of baking this week. And yeah, just sort of pottering. It's Chinese New Year this weekend. We're going into the Year of the Dragon. Sheffield are doing something on Sunday down at Peace Gardens, so we might venture there, but I think it is supposed to be peeing it down with rain, so we might not, we'll see. Um, it'll be good to, assuming I'm not in labour, obviously, to go down and see what's happening there. So we might do that. Yeah, we're just sort of playing it by ear, seeing what happens, hoping, waiting. As I said, very hard to plan at the moment, so bear with me with these videos and what I'm putting out. Uh, and saying that as well, obviously, who knows as i keep saying who knows when she's going to arrive but when she does arrive i don't know what's going to happen with the videos um i imagine there's going to be a bit of a break uh, depending on how much i've got scheduled beforehand um these weekly vlogs i basically film them and then edit them on a monday ready for the sunday so depending on where she falls in that routine so it depends on whether there's going to be one of those um and i'm not sure going ahead how it's going to look it might be that i take out my wednesday videos and just stick to sundays it might be that i'm a bit sporadic so yeah just please bear with me there's been a few of you that have joined recently in sort of a in a fell swoop which is very nice and it's nice that my channel is growing but it does also come at a time that's a bit precarious and that i'm potentially going to be taking a break for a little while so if you are new apologies that that might happen I mean, if you are, if you've been with me for years and years and years, apologies that that might happen. Um, but I'm sure you understand why. So yeah, uh, I'm going to go and pack up this vintage parcel and make my way to there, get myself some lunch, and then I'll come back to you 
when I'm back so that you can rate my meal deal and uh, yeah we'll see where the week takes us. It's soggy. I have a soggy doggy. We've been for a wet walk haven't we Jeff? Um, go that way, roll that way. Yes I'm back. We, we've waddled down to the impost locker and back. Could definitely feel the weight of her. Sainsbury surprisingly doesn't have a great choice of sandwiches so I've ended up going with a chicken and bacon sandwich. A multivitamin boost Tropicana which hopefully will be nice. 12 fruits should, should be good and a packet of prawn cocktail crisps so I'm gonna sit and enjoy that. I'm gonna watch something on YouTube. I'm gonna sit for a while I think and then uh, maybe think about doing something else. But I probably won't come back to you until further on in the week now. That's my exciting venture for this Tuesday morning slash lunchtime. Hello and welcome to Wednesday the 7th of February. I forgot what year we were, what month we were in then. Um, I am currently in the middle of doing a book reading challenge thing. So I'm sort of grabbing time to make this cake when I have it. But thankfully it's quite a quick and easy one to do, or it should be anyway. Because I am just making uh, no bake, no bake Malteser shortbread slice thing, um, which is a recipe that I had on Pinterest ages ago. And I have 20 minutes until I need to go back to read my book, so we are going to try and start this off. Today is also officially the start of my maternity leave, which is exciting I guess. Um, and we'll, hopefully she will decide to arrive. I think she's dropped but I don't know. Uh, right, what do I need? Milk, chocolate, butter and golden syrup in a bowl. Cool. Right, I'm gonna get on and make some of this and you can watch some b-roll, I guess. Um, so yeah, let's go. freezer for it to uh, chill and set and then we'll hopefully have a nice cake um, and it will be tasty but we'll see and that took me a whole 20 minutes to make so easy peasy well this wasn't part of the plan look at that yeah uh, we appear to live in like the snow dome of Sheffield. Is there something on my... So where everyone else is like, oh, the snow doesn't really settle. We always have loads of it. So that's happening today. I nearly fell over multiple times on my walk with Jeff this morning, which is not great at 39 weeks pregnant. And any bets that she decides to come now because it's snowing and going to be awkward to get to the hospital. Although I bet every other road other than ours is probably fine. So I don't know. But yeah. Uh, so as you can see, I've uh, I've actually got to wear my own hoodie because it's cold and this is nice and warm and snuggy. So I thought I would wear this today and I'm very happy about that choice. Pete is at work, so hopefully he's going to be able to get home because I think this is literally going to happen all day. 
And we might have to just put Jeff in the garden for his walk at lunchtime because I'm not sure I want to risk it again, to be honest. Literally one of my first steps and I very, very nearly fell over this morning, so I don't feel very confident about my ability to walk in it. I mean, I never do, but at the moment I'm, I'm very front heavy. <sighs> so, yeah. Uh, I've had a particularly slow morning, uh, which has been nice. Yesterday I did a challenge with a book, um, which I don't know when you're going to see it, but I did film and it will come eventually. Uh, so yeah, I've, I've sort of finished that up and sorted out my story graph and things like that, recording what I'm reading. I'm currently on, I've currently read 18 books this year. And we're on the 8th of Feb, so even if I don't get very far into the, the latter half of the year with reading, I've certainly made a good dent this part. Because quite frankly, I haven't had much else to do with my time. And I love reading, so I'm very much enjoying getting through some of these books. And actually, a lot of the books I'm reading are really good, so... Oh, my, my ratings haven't gone below a 3, and we've got had six four and a half stars i think so for me that's good going oh, i need to think about making a pie for dinner because that's what we've got and it's my job to make that but that will probably mean i have to take the hoodie off and i'm not sure i'm prepared to do that yet and then i've got a few other little bits and bobs to do so i might try and get those done today or i might not <laughs> I'm not feeling very active, so obviously I uh, I did a lot of walking on Tuesday as you saw going down to post the parcel and get my meal deal and then yesterday I did a lot of sitting but I did then do a lot of walking in the evening because I was a bit stiff and stuff. I'm just feeling, and I'm not sleeping very well. I'm convinced she's coming soon whether soon means three days or three weeks I don't know but soon is what I'm going with um, I mean she kind of has to because the due period is up to 42 weeks and I'm at 39 so I don't have that long to go anyway but as I said I think it was last week I'm hoping that she comes without any sort of medical intervention so I don't want any like inductions or anything preferably but if it has to go that way it has to go that way so there we go. I wasn't actually sure I came on to talk to you other than to, you know, tell you that it's snowing again. Why has Pete moved me to a snowy place? I don't really like the snow. I like looking at the snow. I think it's pretty. I just don't like going out in it. But I really don't have anything to share. I'm not really doing a lot. I really should, but I'm not. Um, I think Jeff's got the right right idea. Maybe that's what I should be doing. But no, I need to go and make a pie, so let's go and do that. So I made an executive decision. The dog in the garden. As you can see, he's uh, in his way. Uh, Pete's on his way back. I don't know what that was about. Pete's on his way back from work. It's about one o'clock. He's decided that he's uh, coming back in. <laughs> My dog's barking. Because um, there's no... In an ideal world, he probably would have just left the car at work and then walked back. Because he's literally been... What, you told me at what, like half twelve? Told me like half twelve, so he's been about forty minutes already, and it's a ten minute drive away, his office. Uh, so I think traffic's at a pretty much a standstill. But obviously, in case I do go into labour, we need a car so that I can get to hospital. So that's what's happening. So he's coming home. Jeff's in the garden. I've made a pie. Yeah snow as pretty as it is it is a pain so it took pete well he's home now he got home at about three 
So it took him about two and a half hours to travel the distance that I could walk pregnant in like 45 minutes. Um, apparently it was all a bit uh, skiddy and a bit scary with that. Uh, so yeah, he's back. He came in and turned the heating on, so that's why I'm no longer in an OD because I'm too warm now. Um, and I coloured in a squirrel. <laughs> so that's my productive afternoon. I think the snow stopped. I don't know if it's raining or sleeting, but I think the snow stopped at least. And uh, I don't think I'm going to be going for a walk with Jeff today. I think Pete might be doing that alone, so I need to pace about a bit. And my book, my new book, is actually on a Kindle, so I could walk and read that at the same time. But yeah, I'm going to sign off for today. Um, it's been a weird one. This is our ensuite. There's not a lot to it, really. Um, but it needs painting, because we've got a fan put in. And we've got these big black marks. And then we did have quite a lot of mould, so... It's a case of mould paint. I don't think we're actually going to get it painted today. What with it being three o'clock now? But someone can tape it up, get prepared. So while well, Pete does that, I'm going to uh, entertain him whilst sitting on this contraption. Because, you know, anything, anything that might help. How are you finding the waiting game? Um, weird. Let me shut off the back of your, uh, it's weird all we get. Yeah. Hard to plan, hard to plan for. Yes. How are you finding it, Jeff? Eh? That, like that, eh? I'm excited. I'm not sure you are, but... Welcome to a Sunday and I feel like things are happening. Um, if they're not, this is obviously not going to make the video, but um, I think I may have had my waters break this morning, um, like a little trickle, and I think I might be getting contractions, but they don't seem I'm comfortable, but they're not painful at the moment. And they seem to be about 10 minutes apart, if not that long. Um, so yeah, we might be having a baby soon. But yeah, anyway, I don't know. Like with everything in pregnancy, I don't know. But of course, when you might be in labour, about to have your first child, you paint a bathroom. Fun Sunday uh, activity. Yeah, um, Sunday. Fame Bay going to labour on Sunday. I mean, it's more you've told me I've got to do it before, but I've got, I've got a shadow here as well. He's been following me as well. And I'm going to help you. No, you're not. I am. You can't go into labour and be doing some light painting. I can, and I am. Active, keep my mind off it. Watch yourself. So, that's our job today. Sort the bathroom. So, as you can see, that video uh, stopped rather abruptly, although I think I was wearing the same clothes. This is clean. Um, it just happens to be like two weeks later, and I happen to be in the same outfit. But yes, that ended quickly. So, as we were saying about me being in labour, that was correct. My waters broke that morning. We were having lunch and a bit more trickled out shall we say so I had a look at our notes from the midwife so I like my maternity notes and stuff 
to see if there was anything about waters breaking in it and it said that we should ring them and probably go in so at about two o'clock on sunday we had to head off to the hospital we rang my parents because my mum was coming to stay so we figured get her up here because we don't know what's happening essentially so i went into the hospital yes they had broken um, they said that if i didn't go into spontaneous labor within 24 hours then i had to go back for some more checks and they'd probably have to induce me that process took probably about two hours so we probably got back home at about four ish my parents were here um we told my mum because the, the the thing was that she was gonna come up and then should she need to be taken back or she can go back with my dad but we basically told her there's no point you might as well stay because within the next couple of days i'm going to be having a baby so and then uh yeah uh we had some food and my contraction started and went through most well the whole of sunday night i was up for the whole of sunday night here in the lounge pacing up and down and they got to a point at about six in the morning where we went into hospital so yeah the baby's here if you haven't seen on social media uh, we had uh, Eloise at about two in the afternoon and she weighed seven pound two ounces as I said it's been she's now two weeks old so we've had two weeks with her Pete's now back at work but thankfully from home and I'm sure I'll go into much more about birth and how it's been in future videos. But yes, that is why I haven't posted anything for a little while. I did put something in the community tab, which you may or may not have seen. And that's, <laughs> that's why the video ended so abruptly. And here is my little sleepy girl. She moves a lot. It's hard work being a newborn. And I'm going to try now to post every Sunday. I'm going to stop with the Wednesday videos for the time being. I think that's too much to try and contend with. Particularly as I'm now going to try and start getting into some sort of routine with Eloise. See where we go. But for now, hoping to just get videos for you each Sunday. Um, so look out for those. Obviously this video is going to end here, um, I'm not sure what's coming over the next couple of weeks. There'll probably be more sit down videos than vlogs to be honest for the first few weeks while we continue to find our feet. Um, but if you have enjoyed this video do give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already um, and you fancy seeing how we get along as a new family of three and a half, if you four, I don't know, is Jeff a half or a whole one? Jeff's the dog. Yeah, click that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Bye.